Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can launch the AWS Linux EC2 instance. And then we will see how you can install and run the Docker commands in it. And I'm just assuming you already have the Git bash in your local system, which look like this. And if you don't have, just go to the official website of Git bash and download it from here and install in your local system. Now let's get started to launch the instance. And over here, nothing fancy you have to add, just like Linux server. And search for the Linux server. Hit the enter. Select the free tier. And select the yes. And make sure you should download and save this, create a new pair, which is like the same. Linux server E and put this one in one specific folder on your desktop anywhere. So I'm gonna take this folder, sorry, take this key and put it inside the, the folder. And first of all, I wanna show you that currently on this directory, I don't have that specific file ready. So I'm gonna take this file and Download to that specific folder is done. Now I'm going to go and check it. Yeah, I got that file. Nothing you have to do, nothing much fancy over here. So as soon as you launch this one, just launch the instance. It will be launched. And then you have to see view instances and your instance will be appeared here soon. That's the one. Go inside the instance uh, or, or I would say select that specific instance and say, okay, it's starting. Still says it's starting. So it's like, just need to refresh it, refresh it. Uh, and running, initializing, initializing. Uh, it won't take much time, I'm not sure, boom. So just need to select that and say connect. Select the SSH client. Now open SSH client. You can open the Git bash. Now the fun part has come. Now the follow, you don't need to follow any much step. Just download the last example over here because this one is your host EC2 instance. This is your username. So you don't have to do anything. As you are inside this directory, which has your pember.xml file, which is your key. So you are telling like, hey, go there, take that file and go to the instance and just authenticate and run it. That's it, nothing fancy you have to do. So as soon as you go inside and then you can see this. Are you sure, are you sure? I really want to go inside? Yes, I want to go or, and yes, that's how you can go inside. That's a good thing. Now what you have to do over here, most important thing as it says, sudo yum update command you have to type over here, that's fine. Everything, everything will be set. Okay, so nothing fancy to install. Everything will be updated over here inside this Linux instance. Now, try downloading the uh, Docker instance over here because we don't have Docker over here. So for example, if I run Docker info, we can't see there is no Docker found over here. So, okay, let's find. Uh, let's, I'm gonna go Docker uh, sudo yum install docker i'm gonna install docker let's see how it goes and it says yes everything looks fine boom okay and and now in your desktop same like the desktop over here in your windows instances we always see a kind of uh, uh, desktop url saying that this is our desktop uh, docker hub uh, that is desktop app same we have to in, uh, launch inside the linux instance so what command should we use so we have to use sudo service docker start if we hit it and it will start it and now i'm assuming it should say that, okay, Docker is running. Let's see, I'm not sure. So, see, what's wrong? Permission denied. So, 
it won't allow you directly to hit it. So you have to go to the admin and say, and install the Docker from the admin, and then only it will be given the permission to that specific user. How you can do that? So, so you have to do like sudo uh, user mode and have an A capital G and the username. Where should you get the username? That's the username. So just type E capital C, no, E C2 user. As soon as you hit it, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, so you have to type, sorry, Docker before that. And then that's how you are giving the permission on that specific Docker command. Now let's see, I'm gonna hit Docker start and check Docker info, nothing is there. Again, why? Because you have to go and install the Docker one more time. So install Docker, everything looks fine. But again, as soon as you've done that one, you have to go and sudo reboot the system as, as of now for the first time, because this is a Linux system and they're on the Linux, on the top of the Linux, there is a platform of Docker. So you have to reboot it. As soon as you reboot it and then clear it, go over here and take this one more, more time, paste it, save it. If you hit it, you, it will take time and sometimes it will give you directly an error saying that, hey, uh, we can't go in because we just rebooted it, right? So it, it might say that the session uh, timeout, session uh, has been timeout, like something like that. So you just have to wait for some time. And I believe that it took, yeah. So it says like, hey, connection timeout. So you have to wait for some time and I would say let's time one more time and how it goes. And I think so it should go this time because we just rebooted and installing, it's like rebooting the system and that's how we can go in. And let's see whether we have Docker info in it. Uh, yeah, we can't see the Docker is up and running but the Docker was there. So let's see, uh, I'm gonna hit a, a like sudo, uh, sudo service and Docker and start. If you hit it, it says like I'm starting and then Docker info. Once you hit it, yes, that's how you can see the Docker is up and running, the Docker zero containers and everything and that's how you can configure and start pulling your Docker services from your either from the Docker Hub or the AWS uh, Docker Hub registry. And I hope this helped for someone who needed it. And thanks for watching.